And that's that shift in composition. So the impact of global warming is not just about like depletion and loss. It's more about change, change in composition, change in function, kind of the identity to which species live in the system. And we'll see the same thing here in North Carolina. And this really brings us to sea snakes. Anybody hear about this? This is insane. So sea snakes, sea snakes from the tropics are washing up on the beach in Southern California. This is all over the internet. Um, and it's not just sea snakes, but it's all kinds of other weird critters. Um, and it's all driven, again, by this short-term warming um, that is El Nino. And here, Southern California, you can see how much warmer it is now than normal. So three to four degrees Celsius warmer than normal. And that's what's enabling those sea snakes that otherwise could not tolerate the really cool waters off San Diego and Los Angeles to kind of survive there, at least temporarily. I mean, once the El Nino ends and the water's cool, they'll all die or have to migrate back to where they came from. Um, but that's the useful thing about El Nino for scientists. It kind of gives us a short-term natural manipulation of temperature to see really what the ocean is going to look like and function like 30 to 40 years from now when this is no longer anomalous, when this is the norm. And we'll get there li literally in 25, 30 years. The temperatures that we're seeing today will be the norm and the extremes will be another two to three degrees Celsius warmer. So it's kind of a nice natural experiment. We get really excited about it, even though it's kind of gloom and doomy. Um, but it's also useful for the public and politicians to really point out what the impacts and implications of warming are. You know, it's better than a scientific paper or a graph or a number. It's like, there's sea snakes on the beach, you know? So those are the kind of problems. And it's not just sea snakes, it's like giant oarfish. Look at that creepy thing. So, you know, people are wading out into the ocean and pulling these things ashore all across California. By the way, this is from Facebook. And if you're a marine biologist, this is what your Facebook feed looks like. Just like crazy weird stuff from the ocean. <laughs> and thousands of tiny red crabs filling the ocean. I mean, there's dozens of species that have moved up. And, you know, we see the same thing off North Carolina. So we're seeing more and more tropical species invading our offshore reefs, our estuaries. Um, mangroves are moving north um, across Georgia into South Carolina. So all species are responding not just to short-term El Nino, but to the longer-term warming by changing their range. 